episode 51 of One Piece. Boom, 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 boom. Dungeons and Dragons. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, little sound effects for you guys. Um, I'm here again with Duros Sick in brackets. Lost pause. Uh, he doesn't Hello, know his- everybody. <laughs> it's me. I hopefully I sound somewhat the same. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's sick right now. That's why his camera is off. But if you're listening to the podcast version, it doesn't change anything. So, you know, podcast superior, Spotify superior. Anyway, uh, it is. I'm also here with William Teching 101. Hi. Uh, <laughs> hi. Hey. I'm here with Verona Too Spooky. Howdy. Hello. I'm <laughs> who is now a child. <laughs> and I'm also here with Ragnar Briggs. Baby Briggs, baby Ragnar. <laughs> Everyone's just turned into children around me. Oh what is God, happening? This game. Um, <laughs> obviously, happy 51st birthday, Noble. It was my actual uh, birthday yesterday. Um, you could, could you just do your own? Jo- it's your birthday. Why do you have to go for me? But it's it's not my birthday anymore. It's your 51st happy birthday. birthday happy 51st bro- birthday, <laughs> Yeah, I feel 51. Um, but... Welcome to episode 51. I've got two things that I want to talk about before we actually start the proper episode. The first thing is very exciting. All all of us, all five of us are going to be at Anime Expo 2022, which is like in a month's time. Uh, yep. And we are actually going to be doing a live Dungeons and Dragons One Piece D&D thing. Um... At Anime Expo, also, also known as a panel. Also, as no, a that's panel. it. A panel <laughs> on uh, but it's the, July, I, I was July fourth at eleven forty-five a.m. Yep. Oh yeah, he got it. There we go. It, it's on the Monday, so it's not. It's on the Monday. It's at eleven forty-five a.m. Well, I don't know what fucking room it is. Does it say which room? I, I don't know what room it is, but I just know it's on the fourth of July. It's on America Day. It's so on come Happy America Day. Celebrate American independence with One Piece D&D with us, okay, in L.A. Hell yeah, yeah. brother. Uh, and yeah. it will, it's not just like a panel, it will be a live, actual, proper session that will be running. Will it be recorded? I mean, I'm going to bring my camera, at least one of them, so it'll be recorded. We'll it won't be a great f- we'll recording, but it it'll out. be a recording. We'll yeah. figure out a recording, yeah. We'll figure out some yeah. sort of recording. Probably and won't be the best quality, but it'll exist. Yeah, yeah. and it will essentially be another D&D movie, but this one done by me. And uh, I don't, I don't actually have an idea for it yet, but I'll be working on that over the next few weeks on top of everything else. And that will be a lot of fun. Um, and we, we'll be there in person. And yeah, yeah, William we'll be can around. do his cosplay. Uh, I thought about that today, actually. That's probably yeah. a good idea. Oh, we yeah. could all do I don't our have cosplay. enough time to make a cosplay. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I in my cosplay. Oh no! I, I don't think I could bring my fake plastic sword with me on an airplane, so I could just buy one at the convention, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually, did they do sell weapons there? So yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be. Oh, you could buy a suit of armor there, uh, Noble. I guarantee it. <laughs> no, I don't think you can. <laughs> you could buy a shitty suit of armor. You can buy a hoodie <laughs> with a suit of armor print on it. Briggs uh, just has to bring an eye patch. You'll be all right. And just and take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, That's what happened last time when you guys were saying, like, let's cosplay. I'm like, shit, what am I supposed to do? I'm not just going to take my shirt off on stream so that I bought the bear onesie. That's pretty yep. good, to be fair. That is pretty good. Yeah. Um, also, thanks for the raid, Sif. Hello, Sifers. I don't know what her oh, audience what is called, Sifers. but i got to call them Sifers. <laughs> Sifers. It's, it's better than the second thing I thought of, which was syphilis. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, Syphilis. I I couldn't even say it. I would just go with uh, sifters. Sifters is better. Yeah, sifters, like the (laughs) baking implement. (laughs) The second thing I want to talk about is, I said this on the last episode, but the One Piece Dungeons & Dragons art competition is ongoing. The deadline for that is July 10th. Um, So that's when I get back from America. Uh, And... It, it, the, you the, pretty much I, if you want to look at the rules that are on my Twitter you just draw some art of your favorite One Piece Dungeons and Dragon character or characters and email it to rustismusic at gmail.com with the title being like art contest or something like that yeah. and yeah it's happening Ex- except Cleo except, I'm not gonna vote except for Cleo, Cleo. I'm, not, I'm not voting for Cleo <laughs> no dude I like, I like Cleo's design anyway <laughs> so yes that, that's happening um, go to my Twitter if you want to see the rules. I'll probably be posting it again. I've already posted it once, but I'll post it again. And yeah, I'll probably leave it in the description of the YouTube video for this episode as well. So I hope hope you guys have fun drawing. I'm excited to see your guys' art. I've already seen a bunch of cool art that's already been submitted. And 
good luck, good luck. All right, gamers, we're back to One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. In the last episode, you lot uh, successfully called out Ragnar's son with the little mm-hmm. thing. And now you have to spend the rest of the day preparing for that, right? Mm-hmm. Because- so if I'm remembering this correctly, we made flyers with my fourth dimensional fruit. Yes. And now we got we have the flyers. And now did we agree on how the fight was going to happen? Well, your, what you had previously said was Ragnar was going to build a building. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. <laughs> Ragnar was going to build the tavern <laughs> into which the fight is going to happen. And you guys have okay. a day to do that because you said it was going to be tomorrow at noon. Hey, Verona. Here's yeah. an idea. Maybe we could line the tavern with explosive like tiles on the floor or something. <laughs> that would be fun. Well, Lisa, how fast can you make well? explosives? Yeah, then wouldn't that just blow everyone up? <laughs> that would just blow everyone up. Just Captain. an that idea. Sound like a really good idea. <laughs> I just like adding explosives to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lisa, come here. We got to do something. <laughs> Yeah, I, did, I just like building stuff. That's my the whole reason I like came up with this plan was so I could build a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Not even to fight your son, who's a cruel over. I mean, just you yeah, just want to build a tavern. Obviously, obviously I want to fight my son, and we're gonna fight my son. But why not two birds with one stone? If you know what I'm saying, mm. yeah, two two axes with one swing. <laughs> that's not. That's, 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 be, be <laughs> what does that mean? What does two axes right in one swing mean? <laughs> uh, I misspoke, guys. Come on. Go, go Wait, some who flag. are you talking to, I mean, Ragnar? Where did that voice come from? <laughs> God, God's, God's back. <laughs> I would love if if Ragnar is the only one that can hear Rustage as like God, and His, we're all just Ragnar's like... perception is so low. He's been able to flip back and perceive reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, you guys are building a tavern tonight, I guess. I'm not building the fucking tavern. Right, I'm okay. building a tavern tonight. Uh, I mean, Lissa oh, could help. Sweat. If you we can find a uh... fit. Hello, I'm Lissa. I haven't done this voice in a while. I mean, my voice. Uh, <laughs> you need help building your tavern, or do you have it all your, yourself? I mean, uh, I can do, like, the, the exterior pretty easily and, like, the, the bar itself. But that's... I can do anything made of wood. Is there anything that needs to not be made of wood in this tavern? I mean, Ragnar, do you want, like, do you want this to be a fair fight? Because we could, like, trick this bar out with, like, you know, like a sniper hole for Verona or some shit. You know, like, we could make this pretty clever if we have to. I mean, it, the bar is going to become a battlefield, and anything's fair game, obviously. Okay. I don't, I don't want to, like him to like fall into a trap, and we don't even fight him. But you know, if you no, want to create some, if you want to create some vantage points for uh, Verona to snipe from. I mean, I think 100%. at least we should make like a false ceiling, so like you could like go up there and like have room to like you know like angle the gun or yeah. something down from above or some shit. That would probably be smart. Yeah. One hundred percent. If you guys want to like create an area where you could snipe from or like. Yeah. Yeah easy places for you to use your uh, your stealth abilities let's why, make why like uh like fake like you know hiding behind bookcases like just entrances like secret like you know stairwells and like uh you know hallways that we could just pop out at at any point like trap doors and shit that would, would be you smart. want to have some yeah. sort of fighting arena in the center of the tavern or is it just a normal tavern i mean you know, it's no, up to you i would Ragnar. like is can, can we have a little bit of ale in there you know like, <laughs> no tavern, there's no ale. don't it's worry weird. don't worry duros i um I, I, I will, I will brew Gra- some good ale. Gravy, do you oh, just want to be the bartender you, for this? Of like, course. For, I mean, I'm not uh, going to be fighting. But right, I would yeah, love to. Point, yeah. I would love to brew some ale. It's been a long time since I properly brewed my own ale, but if they have all the ingredients, I sure can. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, let's see. Probably get some pineapple juice to appease. Oh, the gods. gotta get some pineapple. Gotta have yeah. that to appease the gods. <laughs> like, a, like, I'll a, be on pineapple like duty. Will, I, William as captain is like, you guys build a tavern. I'll go buy some fruits. <laughs> you know, it's just like that's that'll Does be my. Do have pineapples out here? <laughs> oh, of course. Doxy says pineapple juice is my favorite drink. <laughs> of course what? it is. Well, All right, Doxy, we'll go is. buy some pineapples and let them build a tavern. <gasps> we have the harder job. She's like stars in her eyes. I haven't had pineapple juice in ages, though. It's expensive. Sh- it's expensive drink. Oh, it's okay. We can steal it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I've always tried to steal pineapple juice before, but uh, 
they have a lot of security right. in the Okay, kid, don't factors. worry. I I got this. Yeah. Verona, is All there right. something you wanted to say? Uh, so are we going forward with the explosive plan? I I oh I don't know about it now. Just yeah. kaboom. <laughs> Things I, go south. I don't think that's wise, considering we're inside of it. We'll, we'll yeah, probably we'll die. <laughs> okay. Do we want yeah. this to be a fair fight? I mean, well, like I said, I, mean, I think anything, I think anything's yeah, fair in a no, fight, but we don't want to blow our th ourselves up. You yeah, know? I'm I don't just wanna... saying, like, if it's looking like Ragnar is like, you, like worst case scenario, you're down on the ground, he's about to like deliver a death blow. I'd like to be able to like save your life at that point, you know? Mm, yeah. Got it. I think anything that could give us a little bit of an advantage for sure, because I don't, I don't know if he's coming alone. You know? I think the hidden entrances, hidden hallways, and the like the vantage point from the roof or the ceiling should be okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Cue the montage. I've been working on the Traverse. <laughs> all the all live long night. day. Oh. All right, Doxy, let's go buy pineapples. <laughs> or steal pineapples. All right, boss, you're talking my language. Uh, okay, <laughs> so you guys... You guys I, I go mean, up to like, the pineapple juice thing. Okay, so what, what is everyone doing to construct this tavern? And what do you guys want all of the crew members to do? Including Gunner and... I forgot that Chip, Gunner and Chip is all, they were also there. Oh, that's right. Chip is canon now. I keep, I forgot about <laughs> <Yeah>. him. <laughs> Always has been. Yep. Um, I mean, I imagine Chip could be quite a lot of help to Ragnar uh, because he's a monkey and so can climb. <laughs> he's also a oh, businessman. I totally man. forgot who he was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. I need you to climb on top of this roof that I'm building and saw a bunch of square holes for Verona to be able to shoot down on. <laughs> I'm going to create like fake compartments, but I need you to make the holes for me right now. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, I'll, t I'll try my best. I, I, circle squares. It doesn't really matter what shape you make. I, they all, enough to sh I, I, roll I, construction. <laughs> I, I'm not very good at manual labor. I could just punch holes. How about that? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of perfect. Oh, I mean, okay. I can't wait I was, to see I was hope, I was hoping for circles. I'm like, oh my god, I was thinking that might be a little bit too hard for you, but your punches will probably create circles. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see that son of a bitch dead, you know what I mean? I, oh wait, he's your son. I can't wait to see him <laughs> knocked out. <laughs> you mean, uh, he's, he is a son of a bitch. You're, not calling my wife. Your wife's a bitch! I mean, she a was bit. a nice lady right now. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> what? I mean, he's a bitch. I'm an asshole. Listen, my son eats people. Listen, I've been divorced three <laughs> times, and I never called my wives bitches. They were yeah. just lying, <laughs> stealing whores. That's pretty cool. Ragnar, <laughs> Ragnar, your wife's a It's it just, it just a phrase. Like when you call someone a motherfucker, you know. It doesn't mean that they... You fuck mothers now, Ragnar? <laughs> Ragnar! I'm what? not there right now, but yeah. What? What? Ragnar? You... <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> There's bad words you could call people, but it doesn't mean that they are said words. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, I established in a previous episode I wasn't sexist, okay? This is too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna try to line somewhere, man. Everyone is a son of a bitch and a motherfucker. Doesn't mean that they are those things. Well, my mother was not a very nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want Jimmy to help with construction as well? He could do some nailing in. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet. 100%. 100%. Anything that can make this a little bit easier. Show me to just roll, roll construction. I'll just roll a d20 for Jimmy. Yeah, this Three. is RuneScape. We have construction Jesus. skills. Yep. All right, this is oh. what happens to Jimmy. Jimmy's oh like, I ain't ever done this before. Bada bing. But I just put nail here. And he hammers the nail straight through his thumb. <laughs> oh. And blood starts oh, trailing oh. down his thumb. This sort oh. of like bluish, blackish liquid oh, running like, down no, no, his dude, arm. Dude, when I was in middle school in home ec, there was a girl that like right through with the needle in the sewing machine. Uh, like no, I've no. seen oh, that yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh god, that was yeah. Oh, Jimmy, okay. what are you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm trying to <laughs> nail over here, but I cut myself. <laughs> but did, did your did your did your dad never teach you how to use a hammer and nail? Come on. Hey, ba 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 boo ba boo. <laughs> Uh, He's okay. like, that's Jesus how he expresses pain. pain. He's just like, Papa, boop. 
We'll definitely wrap that up, but for next time, you don't have to swing the hammer that far back. Just, just Wait, gentle. The nail will go through the wood. It's sharp. It's got a pointy end that went through your finger. I'm not there right now, but did you say he bleeds blue? Uh, that was part of the description, but I imagine Ragnar's the only one who is there. And I so, don't yeah, know if Ragnar, Ragnar would have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that he messed up my, my beautiful like, uh, construction hey. of a tavern. Do you have a plaster over here? <laughs> Sorry, do you have a band-aid over here? <laughs> so you guys don't call it plasters. Do you have Oh a... my god, that's what they're yes. called in England? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, weird. Do you have a band-aid over here? Um, I got some cloth. You can just wrap it up. Hey! And um, he wraps up his, his little cut. And he continues to, uh, to try and have her away to much... I gave him a little bit of a demonstration, but it's not helping. I, honestly, I think you should... Uh... It did help. <laughs> oh. There you go. All right. There you go. You See? learned a little. He's got to get the nail a little bit in before you start using power. <laughs> All right. So he starts knocking away, and he's able to su successfully do that. Um, what is... So basically... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, but basically the idea the idea here is that we're creating a bunch of holes in the ceiling and holes in the wall and then I'm going to do a, I'm going to create a fake wall and a fake ceiling that can yeah. like open up that way when they're up there or on the outside of the tavern they have free shots with guns. Okay, sweet. All right. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Um now what is Verona doing? Verona is assisting Lissa with what is... whatever she needs at this point. Oh, Verona, are you able to carry this for me? Ragnar, what what do I, what do you need me doing? Uh, I'm, again, I'm just making like the whole outside just of the structure drops. right now. I can make so hinges. If, uh, yeah. Yeah, make the hinges for the for the, the fake walls then. That's perfect. She starts like hammering away, doing all of her like inventing stuff. Essentially she's making all like the secret trap doors and things mm. that work for this actual the the engineering aspect of the design. Uh and I guess Verona, you are helping out with that. I am assisting, yes. You're assisting. Uh, Duros, what are you doing? I'm probably getting the raw materials because we need fucking wood. That's true. <laughs> so, so, so uh, <laughs> I imagine... I also love how we're just building this in the middle, like, we just pick a in lot. In the middle of the just pick a lot. <laughs> just pick a lot. Um, I imagine, actually, because there was that empty lot outside the back of the uh, steakhouse, that <laughs> you're just building it there, right next building to Building laws the... <laughs> don't exist. <laughs> just like... Dude, I... I, I, I thought we were just built in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. You could just do it in, in the, the middle, middle of the street. Of the street. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. we are pirates. We can't build True. it. We'll yeah. Yeah. We won't. So, Duras, are you just going to... How are you getting this lumber? <laughs> I, I'm just taking it for whatever I can, I suppose. <laughs> just dismantling like other, other buildings. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else we can I do. Mean, run down buildings. I'll I mean, just take it off the road. Louis LeClock is doing this, like, is, is probably helping you with that. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I, I am going to turn back time on these buildings and unbuild them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know you were capable of doing that. I, I am, I've made my power so much stronger just so I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very odd specific power you have there. When, <laughs> on inanimate objects, it is easier for me to undo time like this. And he starts to rewind the buildings, and the buildings start to turn into like piles of logs. And there's like a naked man standing there who is obviously like mid shower. Like, <laughs> he looks over like, well, that's quite rude. What the? <laughs> oh, he's taking this rather well. <laughs> well, thank you for your contribution. Hey. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Louis Leclerc's like, I'll, we'll, we'll put it back. It is going oh, towards a, a good cause. Yes. A murder. <laughs> that that <laughs> is the good cause. Well, getting rid of the evil dictator Ragnar. Yes, yes, the evil dictator Ragnar. Sometimes murder is good if, it kill, if you kill bad people. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, who, who the hell is left? Fucking Cyril? What is Cyril doing? Somebody has to put the flyers up all over town. I guess Cyril will do that yeah. then. With yeah, Pearl. We, so that's a good that. job for Pearl Yeah, okay, Pearl can fly. She can fly. So yeah, yeah, she can yeah. fly. So Pearl is flying around, and Cyril is also there. And they're, they're putting all the flyers up to advertise it for everyone. 
Um, Put them in like front of people's like windows and like you know doors yeah, and everything. Yeah. Like I mean, make it inconvenient so Thomas they have to see them. is running up and yeah. just like shoving it in people's faces. <laughs> hmm, I didn't think of that. We gotta make some stands for the bystanders to watch. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm. And then uh, William, you have a pro. You you approach yeah. this large, uh, almost concrete like building, and there's a giant oh. pineapple on the front, and it says Pineapple Juice Industries. Oh, dude, yeah. I thought we were going to, like, steal from, like, a little market stall. I actually had a plan what? for that. We're going up what against you, Big Pineapple now. What you talk, little, they don't sell pineapple juice in little market stores. Pineapple juice is a luxury resource. It's, All right, how well guarded is this building now? <laughs> you see guards patrolling it. There's, like, Holy lights shit. on it. Like, <laughs> it looks like, like a guard prison dogs compound. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! But here's the thing: William was so confident. He's like, "Come on, kid. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll show you how to steal from a market stall." <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, uh, oh, you uh, <laughs> you want to back uh, out? You batty, bro? You want to back out now? Da, 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 da. Hold on a second here. I, 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 I roll my devil fruit. One hundred and seventy-seven. Oh god! I always forget that you roll your devil fruit, so I always forget to pre-put up the. <laughs> get the roulette out yeah yeah hold up kid just give me a second here it please don't please be the tunneling spinning. fruit please be the tunneling fruit <laughs> what, what what number did you get 177 177 you can unlock things kiyo kiyo yeah! <laughs> wow that's okay oh, that's so perfect. Wow. you've also I've... gotten this once before i swear um probably yeah but uh so all right so i'm like hold on a second i roll my fruit and then it's like it pings in my brain i'm like i got this now what i'm gonna need you to do doxy is just act yeah, like the most an annoying kid ever in front of this building to even maybe distract so I the just guards gotta do a an, little bit i just gotta do an impression of you then <laughs> you know what kid I'm not going to hit a child, okay? <laughs> I had a rough child. I had a rough childhood growing up, you know. Boss hit me a few times. I'm not going to be you the vicious You couldn't even circle, anyway. Okay? I dodged your shots. Okay, you know oh. what? Do you want to steal the goddamn pineapple juice or not, kid? Yeah, of course. All right? <laughs> okay, so go in front. I don't care what you do. Just distract the guards a little bit. I'm going to sneak around back and find a window to magically unlock and steal this juice, okay? All right. All right, so Doxy let's do that. Doxy, like runs up to the to the guards and then just starts going oi look at me <laughs> i'm william <laughs> i just like i'm sneaking around but i'm like <laughs> and they're like william like william of the devil's luck pirates and they start like following her okay. like, he's a she's if a lot works, small, works. smaller <laughs> i give her my hat to like you know like there you go like <laughs> oh it's kind of similar yeah uh okay All right. and do you just unlock the front door I, w I was going to go around back to sure. see if there was a back door. I rolled 18 stealth. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're sneaking around. Okay, I'm sneaking around. I find, like, a back door. It's probably bolted, like, like with, like, 17 million locks, but I can just, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and the, like, the security door opens up. All right, what's and inside, what do I see? There is a, a man dressed in blue, blue hat, and he's, like, okay. uh, he, he's just sitting there, big sort of white beard, um, and he, he goes, ooh. Uh, now, am I am I behind this guy? Because I'm coming in through the back. Well, this is like you've sort of opened up almost to like a janitor's closet. Oh, so is this guy just the janitor? Yeah, he just looks like the janitor. Oh, okay. I'm just like then. It's like, oh yeah, sorry. I was checking. I'm the fire inspector for the bam, and then I knock oh! him out with out of my sword. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Do you want to roll to hit just in case you critically fail? I guess. <laughs> Because, 27. Yeah, 27. Oh, that's a, that's a devil fruit attack. Sorry, uh, Cutlass. 27. 27. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, you no, you knock him out. No, yeah, yeah, right. you just fucking knock him out. Oh. Like, freaking, freaking kid, the crap I have to go through sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right, I sneak out of the janitor's closet now. Is there, like, mm -hmm. where's the juice? <laughs> <laughs> where's the juice? You end, As you leave the janitor's closet, you open, you open, and there's these four giant vats in this large room of yellow uh, juice. Um, uh. And there's people like working on it and they're packaging it into little juice cartons. And you see someone like overseeing, looking around. Um, and they are, they're dressed in like this golden armor. And they've got this okay. like golden helmet on, but it has like green spikes coming off the top. And they, they right. start uh, pacing up and down looking. I mean, you just come in, in dressed as well. I mean, I, I'm going to try to stealth. Again, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You're sneaking around, like, sneaky. Yeah, you yeah, sneak yeah. Around. Okay, now uh, the vats aside, are there anything like 
like a barrel or something like a keg, something I can actually carry. There, there are like pallets of um, pineapple juice in cartons, like at the side can of I, the room. Can I just try to sneak and just grab like a handful of these cartons you and sure just can. sneak out? Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. I, I mean, I'm just going to try to avoid that. I'm just like, why with the, the pineapple guards? What, what is <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you do just, one sleight of hand check and then you're, yes. you're, you're smooth sailing? 29! <sighs> you just grab it. I'm out like a ninja, man. You know, I'm a pineapple ninja. I'm a fruit ninja. There we go. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, then oh. you, you you sneak out. Uh, before I leave, I'm going to take a little bit of the pineapple juice and splash it next to the uh, janitor like, guy. Like so he's like get overdosed. Blamed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that like was he's... not the reason I intended, but sure, whatever. Makes him take the There's fall like, for oh, this. Okay. The janitor okay. drank too much pineapple juice again. Knocked yeah. out. Okay, so then I just sneak out, I relock all the doors, and I go around, and I just kind of... I don't know if it lets you relock. I think it, I think it only okay. lets you unlock. <laughs> then I'll just... I'll, the janitor will get blamed yeah, for it. Yeah, the door. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I sneak back and, uh, I don't know, give a signal to Doxy or whatever uh, to be yeah. like, hey, it's done. You know, Doxy okay. turns around, and the two guards are, like, knocked out unconscious next to her. And she goes... Holy shit, what did you do? I did what I had to. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I mean, like, I don't know what's with pineapple juice. I mean, it's, I know it's the best juice, but there were, like, guards in there with, like, gold armor on and shit. Like, yeah, that's big pineapple. Oh, my God. All right, this is another thing we have to deal with after Ragnar. Anyway, here's the juice. <laughs> I have, like, a bunch of cartons she of the juice. She grabs the okay. cart and just downs the juice. Oi, okay. mister. We'll save some. I mean, I know I say the... a lot of mean things to you, but thanks for this, bruv. I mean, you wouldn't have been able to do it without my help. So, I mean, 50-50 and all that, but... Whew, I have a heartwarming moment where it's like, you're welcome. <laughs> this is like this. William has like, I wish my childhood was like this sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go back Honestly, to the Honestly, your childhood right. was kind of like this. I mean, it was. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a hundred percent like this. It's just I think Boston might you know might have been more brutal about it at the beginning, but <laughs> over the years he softened a bit. Yeah. All right. Well. You can read all about it in William's autobiography. Okay, so we go back Coming to the Coming out soon. New announcement yeah. for episode 51. Checking's writing William's autobiography. I, I mean, I have a document that has, like, everything in his life. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway. Okay. okay. So, you guys have head back to the, um... <laughs> to, to we, the... Just, we just walk in drinking the pineapple juice, like, Oh, man, you guys are really pr you're going along here. This is awesome. <laughs> And you, uh, I guess you set up this tavern. You've successfully yep. constructed this tavern. By the time it takes you to do all that, I think everyone else would have got close to finishing. I mean, Ragnar builds very fast. It's the one thing he can yeah. do. I mean, he can create furniture in seconds. So. I mean, we, uh, so a tavern in like two hours. Yeah, much, right. You know, it's, yeah. Done. it's done. It's um, done. It's a relative. It's a relatively simple design here, guys. You know, we got a couple steps going on to a platform that everyone can step in. Good old, old Western style tavern doors that swing open for the dramatic entrance. Yeah. We got a roundabout bar in the shape of a square in the center. Bunch okay. of tables. That's about it, you know. This is nice. This yeah. is nice. Oh, what are we gonna call it? Did you, did you think right. of a name? Hmm. Sorry, what did you say about a table in the center? I said a bar in the center. Oh, okay. So where's the As where's the battle arena? Yeah, where's the fight arena? What do you mean? It's a bar fight. Okay, it's a bar. Oh, so we center. literally just have tables that will just immediately get to you build tables just to, to immediately to get destroyed. destroyed in a bar fight. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, obviously, right, no, I can white. get behind that. That's awesome. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, the last time I saw my son was in a bar fight, right? Oh, so it's like a poetic justice kind of thing. All right, yeah. neat. I thought I, I said like that, that last last. Uh, yesterday. Yeah. They would actually still be the same day. Not a month yeah. and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, that's it. That's okay. Uh, Did I mess up the, the battlefield that you designed? Sorry. Battlefields are always changeable. Let me just add some tables in here. And, we're, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's completely the same. Oh, great. Look at this. Oh, I just thought of another idea. We should get, like, not even bottles of booze, but just, like, empty bottles from the trash and just put it up there just to be used as, like, impromptu weapons just if it's a bar fight you know why not why wouldn't you just have noble bottles because it's a tavern because it, it's easier just need... to get it's easier why to get to empty bottles from weapons, the trash Captain, yeah you know? why would you not just use your swords why not because it's a bar weapons? fight you gotta think the aesthetic the aesthetic doros the aesthetic 
I love that you guys are all imagining this like arena. Like, we literally said we were building a tavern. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's it looks. It's only gonna look like shit for you guys. So. Yeah. I mean, we're it's only gonna be here for a day. Not probably like an hour at most. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's gonna get destroyed mid fight for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is it called the Thirsty Bear? Did you say? What was the name? Uh, I didn't come up with a name. That's uh, that's up to you guys. The honey pot. The honey Ooh, pot. That's a... very good. It's because we're honey potting got... him to yeah, get to the yeah. Two that's layers perfect. to that. That's incredible. Yeah. Right. I don't think you can think of something better than honey pot. That's perfect. That sounds good to me. Can ten anyone make the sign? Ten out of ten would name it again the same thing. Can anyone yeah. make the sign? I mean, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty good at making signs, but my penmanship is not all that great either. So someone else would have to carve it. I mean, Louis Leclerc, that's me. I am. I have a beautiful handwriting, but you, some people have said it's illegible, it, but it looks very nice. I mean, we, we want Ragnar to be able to read it. Ah, yes, you know? we we we. Um, is his perception better than yours? <laughs> that's a good question. That is a legitimate question. <laughs> Yeah, he's always been quite gifted as a child. He was uh, always better than me in more or less anything. Plus, he has two eyes, <laughs> doesn't he? He does he have has... two eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's twice as many eyes as you. I feel like he just took, like, <laughs> anything I tried to teach him, he just went a very extreme route for. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. He's got extreme perception. If Rag right. uh, oh, Ragnar would be like, look at look at these trees. What do you see? And then Ragnar the Fourth would be like, on oh, that branch over there, I see a small bird, and that bird is currently like, <laughs> and that bird has <laughs> seventy seven hundred twenty four feathers. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can see everything. Uh, all right, so I guess who's painting the sign? <laughs> so, Although he can't turn into a bear, he can't turn into. Yeah, bear. that's right. They have edge you have. That is, that is the edge that you <laughs> unless... have. <laughs> unless. Uh, no. Unless I feel like people would, you would have heard by now if he was able to turn to a bear. Um, it'd be I a think... weird coincidence. There's, yeah, <laughs> like it's not Ragnar <laughs> turning to a bear is not genetic. I think people forget that. It's a devil fruit that he found. But wouldn't it be funny if it's like Ragnar ate the grizzly bear zone and other Ragnar ate the polar bear zone? You know, yeah, like I that mean, was just yeah. Yeah, it'd be so. That it'd be, be such a contrived coincidence. That I, if I did it and I watched this, I would hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like if Oda did that in One Piece, it would be weird, you know. I, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Whitebeard okay. has a son that also has the earthquake. Fruit. <laughs> weird. Okay. Uh, we've also we've we've already met like another bear fruit, right? So there's. I yeah. Think the well, only no, one we met a really guy that. Be... Polar bear. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of different species, yeah, but... Yeah. yeah, there's different I models. Mean, I'm of, sure you know. you'll meet the polar bear guy at some point. It's just that the chance that it's Ragnar the Fourth is as much of a chance that it is en literally any other person on the planet. That's true, yeah. Um... <laughs> I just realized so, I it'd could It'd be so roll. funny I say all this and then mid-battle and then he turns into a polar bear. I'm <laughs> pranked. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you clever yeah, bastard. fuck you. The, mis the misdirect. Yeah, Dad, uh, I heard you turn into a bear, so black market, now I'm a bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, did you build a trapdoor into the floor? Yeah, where are these hidden hidden? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta organize that. I wanna... So I'm, I'm picturing it at least a few in the ceiling, a lot in the walls that we could just all pop out. So at least like four on the walls and then like one trap door on the floor. All right. So my idea was Verona could stay on the roof mm -hmm. before um, Ragnar enters. That way, when the fight happens, we unlock the doors and he has a, a, sh a shot from above. Yeah. Um, I also created tra um, like windows on the side. So if you want to shoot from outside, you can. Nice. Yeah. But then there's also little like fake cabinets that like you could hide in if you want perfect William. oh perfect. yeah okay good oh okay. yeah no, that's, that works bar drinking ale is that okay <laughs> I, I, yeah, perfect. Sure. I mean, that's where i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sitting at the at the bar waiting for ragnar to come yeah it would just be weird if there's like no people drinking ale in here wouldn't that be weird i mean if, if people from the town want to come in and drink gravy you can serve them it's just they might get killed in the crossfire <laughs> are you saying that i become complicit in murder you are already complicit in murder, that's Gravy. That is long past the point of no return on that one. Honestly, that's you know? fair. As long as I'm not the one to directly harm anyone. Uh, how about this, yeah. Gravy? You just be the bartender. Yeah. yeah. All right. Before we get started with uh, this whole event, I'm going to animate my uh, my second weapon and just mm -hmm. put that in behind one of the walls, just in case. Okay. okay. So it'll just be chilling back there. Okay. I want to hide in a... Uh... 
I know I said all this stuff about a, like a hiding place. I think I might just hide in a barrel on the side of the like room or something. I just pop out of. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do so, that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, holy shit! Where's oh, gravy? Uh, Oh I wonder if Ragnar is going to come by himself or uh, or with with people to fight with. I, oh, I think it'd yeah, be pretty unfair if he came by himself. But. Oh, uh, by the <laughs> way, who wants to be uh, the wait staff? Uh, Pearl, Cyril, anybody? Huh? Just disguised as waiters, but then you're actually really badass. <laughs> you know. I, I, I would I would dwarp everything. I wouldn't be a very good waiter. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I, I'm Jimmy over here. Yes, you are. Over here. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'll do anything for money. <laughs> you're, you're not getting paid. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll do anything anyway. I'm just going with the flow. I'm Jimmy over here. All right. Okay. I guess so. Cyril, Pearl, and Jimmy are waiters? Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. that's fine. Uh, and Gravy's the bartender, right? Gravy's the bartender, of course. Oh, I will do uh, the customary inspiring leader speech to give everybody a um, some temporary hit points here. Yeah, of course. Okay, it's your level plus charisma mod. So whatever that is. What's your speech, you. Captain? I want to yeah, hear it. You can't just say, oh. I'm going to do a speech. <laughs> right, yeah, right, hold on. Guys... <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, let's guys, let's just right, I get that a... William did a Gravy. speech. Gravy, pour me a glass of fresh pineapple juice to give this speech. That's All right, it. everybody, listen up. I stand in the center of the hall. I was like, we have had a great day just building this tavern. By the way, Ragnar, impeccable marksman, marksmanship, worksmanship. It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be a bar fight. It, it, this place is going to be destroyed, so get used to it if you want to, you know. Um, so all of us are in our places. Uh, I, I would say let Ragnar get like first blood because this is his son. This is his battle. Uh, we should only step in if it's looking like bad for Ragnar, but I trust him. He's our trusted shipwright. He's been with us battle after battle. This is his day. You know, I just want cheers, you know, toast to Ragnar to beat <laughs> Ragnar. <laughs> All right. So to Ragnar. Yeah, cheers. there we go. Cheers. Bam. Yeah. And what's the how much do we get? Uh, you get your level, whatever that is, plus charisma modifier, which I think we're all level 13 now. Well, it's so. your charisma modifier, isn't it? Mine's four. So it's so plus four, so... Mine so is... So we're all level does that 13, apply to right? All of us? We're all level 13, but your charisma mod will be different. Mine's no, it's 17. Your, to it's a, your charisma modifier. It's yours, you dummy. Why would it... Why would, <laughs> you're the one giving the speech! Why would it them charisma modifier? Like, oh, that was an incredible <laughs> speech, but I'm just not very charismatic myself, so I'd... Uh... You know, I blame <laughs> my past self for writing it down in a vague way on this clipboard. So, you know... <laughs> it's like if you were like, you I'm going to swing and hit with my sword, and it does damage equal to their stealth. Their yeah, strength, but, sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird, bro. <laughs> All right, so everyone gets seventeen. There we go. All Dang, right, seventeen yeah. temporary hit points. So it's your level right, plus charisma. Huge. Yes. Yeah. Good. There. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. Okay. I was thinking about it in a weird way. Like, yeah, if you're charismatic enough to receive my charisma, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know how that would work. All right. Oh my gosh. I thought. I swear to God, it was a roll last time you did this. Um. I mean, I could look up reliable talent. <laughs> Wait, no, that's inspiring leader. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, inspiring leader. God, I'm just, I'm just an idiot with it today, man. Uh, just hold up, hold up, hold up. That includes Jimmy too. I want to make sure he gets this. Yeah, it, it, you sorry, know. it is your level plus charisma. Sorry, that's my bad. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, it is it. only six targets though. So which six? Oh, okay. So the, you know, so the, the four crew. of us. Yeah, the four of us. And then uh, two others. So Jimmy. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm giving it to Jimmy <laughs> definitely. And who else? Do I know who has the lowest HP out of all of us? Not really. I mean, you could just kind of guess. Cyril. Cyril's weak. Cyril Let's and Jimmy. Cyril. Yeah. Pearl will be okay. Gravy's a tank. He'll be all right. I don't think anyone's going to hurt Gravy. Yeah. Not. Not directly. <laughs> no, not directly. Yeah. I would love to hear Jimmy give a speech. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy, if you want to give a speech, floor is yours, man. I step down. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's Jimmy over here giving a speech. Bada bing. Bada boop. Bada bing. We will fight them in the bar. I think we get one extra temp hit point for that. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. I'm Jimmy. 
I don't really even know what's going on. A hundred percent. I know that there's a guy that we have to kill, and it might be his son. <laughs> <laughs> People are still saying, "Well, well, well said, Jimmy. Well <laughs> said. Yeah. Well, well said." Well said. Honestly, I, I couldn't do it better myself. Bada <laughs> bing, wanna, Jimmy. Bada bing. Bada bing, guys. That's why I thank everyone for being my family, and I, uh, I appreciate you, know what? you helping me okay. kill my family. Oh, <laughs> ever thanks. since I escaped from Any that time. Ever since I escaped from that ship as a child, I have been relatively alone just thieving and doing other things like that. This is the first group of people who have ever actually given me anything without expecting much in return. And bada boo, bada bing, I am grateful for that. So awesome. You know I'm what? Here. You guys. Gravy. Cheers. Cheers. Gravy. Add Cheers. to the menu, the, 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 the drink menu, add the uh, bada bing. That'll be Jimmy's okay. personal drink. I'll add, yeah. the, I'll add the bada bing. I'll let you decide what mixture of alcohol it is, but that exists now. It's good. Okay. It's going to be Coca Cola and Mentos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that's... laughs> it makes everyone go bada bing. Okay. All right. All right. Bada boom. Bada boom. Okay. <laughs> all right, um, but all right, we got everybody's. Oh yeah, people were saying Doxy and Gold. I feel like Goldeneye probably has a decent amount of HP, so he's a pretty yeah. tough guy. And Doxy, I feel like Cyril's weaker than Doxy, so I think uh, I think that was the right decision there. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So. Okay, I guess now you guys. Well, okay, you've built it now. Now I guess you guys are gonna sleep. I guess we just wait. Oh, oh wait. Sleeping. I thought we already slept. Oh, I you already this was slept. Like... You built this in the morning. Sorry, you built this in the morning. Yeah, yeah. All right. We built so this in the morning. We're slept. fighting at high noon. I think all right, we agreed right, on. Right. For some reason, in my head, you had like built it at night. But yeah, you built this in the morning. We like yeah. We woke up at eight. We built this in like three hours, and now Sweet. we're just waiting for. You know... Well, make sure you guys get your long rest stuff back then. Put your helmets. Yeah, up. yeah. We got. I got like everything ready to go. Yeah. All right. I only used my fruit once today, so I'm good. Okay. Okay. So, before anyone else starts coming in like before you know ragnar or anyone like that comes in you just have normal people start walking in yeah just like regular yeah. people coming in they start ordering drinks at the bar you hear some of them go like oh my god i can't believe rah, 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 the ragnar versus ragnar what a crazy fight um are you guys charging admission oh yeah absolutely okay so <laughs> At least I think we are I'm like well, we might as well make some extra money off this Who is at the know? door charging admission <laughs> well, no, Who's at the door? The drinks, right? Yeah, I Doxy's just... at Doxy's at the door charging admission. Doxy's like, all right. I mean, what it makes you charge for drinks, not not for admission. We can do both. Hey, mate, they're staying. There's there's they're they're, they're staying to see the event, right? Yep. Their entrance fee, two drink minimum, three drink minimum. Okay, like I mean, uh, yeah. Regardless if there's an admission fee or not, I imagine Doxy is still at the front door, like, like, all right. Had it over. <laughs> Admission fee. And then, she uh, just, yeah. Yeah, and then she's gonna just like pick pockets of random people who are drinking as well. Hey, money's money. I'm making a fucking killing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. Okay. I'll probably be too busy talking to Gravy to notice this. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're at the bar with Gravy. Yeah, I wouldn't notice this, so. Oh, well. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's actually a really good point. Chip and Gunner, um, you what you, you you what are their plans? What are you doing with them? Uh, okay, so Gunner is uh, he's like kind of famous, isn't he? A little bit, yeah. He's the opening act. He's the headliner. Ooh. You know, <laughs> he could be up there doing stand up or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay, <Just> like <laughs> he gets he gets in the center of the bar circle, um, just to warm everyone up. You know. And he, he's doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> Out yeah, of yeah. Y'all. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to see you in a cowboy voice doing stand-up comedy. Out of y'all. So a man and a giraffe walk into a bar. <laughs> and they both drink a lot of alcohol. And uh, the giraffe, he can't handle the alcohol, so he just passes out. And the man starts to leave. And as he leaves, the bartender says, and he points over to the giraffe, Hey! You can't leave that lion there. And the man turns around and says, <laughs> It's not a lion, it's a giraffe. No laughter. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, that was a good one. My son used to laugh at that one all the time. Verona's just writing that down. <laughs> 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 write this down, write this down. Right. 
All right. Well, okay. Um, where, to... where is Boss? He's in the back room because he's in a wheelchair and he can't do anything. Forget about Boss. How are, how are there so many characters? There's so many NPCs. <laughs> yeah. also, there's also little Ricky, who I'm assuming is staying at the ship. Yeah. There's oh no ship. God. Wait, we haven't found the ship. <laughs> oh, that's true. Right. We haven't ship. gotten there yet. That's why we there's so many there NPCs because you do not have the ability right, to right, stay right. at the ship. Okay, okay, it's all right. It's all right. Gravy is the is the bartender. Little Ricky is the cashier. He has to jump on the keys on the cash register in order to. Get how about the you just? Put some of them in the kitchen making food. Yeah, yeah sure. Just in the yeah. kitchen making food. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Like, why do we have so many NPCs? Because you keep hiring them, Captain. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I do keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honestly, that you have lots of NPCs, but they're all very distinct, which I'm very happy about. Like, they're all... yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay. So. Uh, it's getting closer to noon now. Mm, Are you guys right. going to get into your positions? I, I'm going to jump in my barrel in the right. side of the room. And so, there's like a bunch of barrels yeah. there, so I'm hidden. William, yeah. you are barreled. Verona, mm -hmm. where are you? Ceiling. Ceiling. My gun is also like on one of the side windows, ready to go. Okay, Verona, yeah. you're ceiling. Um, Duros, you're at bar. I'm at the bar. Briggs, yeah, me and Duros I, are like sitting next to each next other. Next to each other. Uh... Louis, Louis, Cyril, and Louis, Pearl I, are waiters, I, I, right? And Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're... Healy, I want Healy in be, like hiding behind one of the walls. Maybe Lissa could be behind there too. Well, I, you know. Okay, yeah. Healy behind one of the walls. I'd put Lissa in the kitchen with little Ricky. Lissa's in the kitchen, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as little, long as they're Ricky. out of the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jimmy is waiter. Doxy is at the front entrance, I guess. Yeah. And Chip and Gunner. Gunner's on stage. Chip, what's he doing? Hiding. Hiding Let's as hide well. Him in the, he he just hide attack monkey! And just like, you know, jump out okay. and like fight. Yeah. So that also, is I want the, uh, the front doors of this place like propped open so you don't have to open that. You can just like walk in. We can yeah, see yeah. the street and everything. So, All right. Yeah. So as it gets closer see... to noon, you hear a loud bong, bong. Doctor goes, that's fucking weird. We don't have a clock tower in this city. Um, oh, that's and, weird. <laughs> and then um, the you see like the neck down of a large man in the uh, in the doorway and then oh, just shit. like to, he just walks forwards and he's just face breaks through the wall the wooden wall oh. and he's a large muscular man with his with slick back like white hair unusually because he has youngish features but he's wearing these like aviator black sunglasses he's in quite a fancy business suit with like gold and diamond rings and a uh and, like an expensive time like it's almost like a pocket watch, but it's on your wrist. Uh, and he has he has that he's got like a gold chain at the end of the chain has like an R. <laughs> oh crap! Um, and you but like you could he, his clothes are so tight on him you can feel his muscles almost trying to rip it apart. Uh, he walks in and he he sort of looks around and behind him. Uh, is a sort of posse of men in black suits and they're all carrying little briefcases and there are four other individuals there is a large man a bald man uh, and he's just he's just a large bald man there is a, a, a sort of man. skinny okay. man with glasses um, and he, he has a, uh, a notebook on him there is another man with like a white top hat a cigar kind of like a flayed coat and then there is a lady with glasses and a book, but her hair is let down, and you immediately recognize is that it Paige? as Paige. <laughs> okay. And the the man stands there for a second, and he goes, Silence! And everyone in the room goes dead silent. My barrel shakes at the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my... Huh? What? <laughs> oh, that was so cool! As I just said, <laughs> it like echoed. That was cool. Yes. <laughs> okay, and once it goes completely si silent, all you hear is cha ha ha ha. And I turn around and I'm like, son, I knew you would show up. Ha 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 ha. Oh, father. I should have known that my little plan wouldn't kill you like so easily. Oh. Oh, you were trying to kill me? I thought you were just trying to warm me up with Butcher. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you're here now. Say I was half 
hoping that it would fail. Uh, Paige reassured me that it wouldn't, but... <laughs> when yeah. you want a job done, you have to do it with your own two hands. <laughs> you remember the last time we fought? It was also in a bar. But this time, one of us ain't leaving. <laughs> I remember the last time we fought. I remember winning that fight. And I'll win this fight again. As he says that, I rip off my, uh... What the fuck's it called? Eye patch? <laughs> my my oh, eye, patch. eye patch. I rip off my eye patch and throw it to the ground. And you okay. just see, like see like an empty hole. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> uh. It's changed like 20 times how I lost my eye, but like... It this was is part the, the reason. It was, it was part of the thing, like I just didn't want to talk about it. Like, it was all... Yeah. Oh yeah, it was in a, But one time I did say it was in a bar fight. And it's true. <laughs> how lovely. Sharing my victories on display like that. He then like clicks his finger and a little man runs out in a business suit and opens the briefcase. And inside is a bunch of bright blue like syringes. And Ragnar grabs one and sticks one in his arm and just and you see him oh, no. like the, the clothes sort of rip on his body. And his, he's hawking out. His, uh, yeah, he's hawking out. His veins start pulsating and his skin is stretching tight. <laughs> he's, he's Bane. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's not good. And he like picks up a segment of the bar and just sort of lightly places it to one side. But as he places it to one side, it just like disintegrates underneath his hands. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, so Ragnar, will you be a man and fight me one on one? Absolutely. Although I do see that you have, you brought a bunch of uh, a bunch of your crew, I'd imagine, and then a bunch of guys in black in black suits. What's they going on with them? Just here to pray witness, and you know, if there's any foul play involved. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't I, be much of a bar fight if, if if everyone didn't get involved. But I'm down to take you one v one. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, All right. In that okay. moment, I guess we got to roll initiative. But well, Ragnar okay. runs towards. Yeah, it's just Ragnar. Before Ragnar, the, before the fight even starts, I'm rolling okay. the fruit. Like I would have done that. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what fruit are you so gonna let get? Me just, let me get that out of the way. So I don't waste my first turn. Two hundred eighty nine. Yeah. Um, all right. 289? Yeah. Is the one we've won before? Probably. <laughs> this is really silly. Is the Bashi Bashi no me? You can induce cringe and cause embarrassing memories to resurface. So just basically me. Damn. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reroll that. Emotional Wait. damage. Nah, I'm just, I'm going to reroll that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Emotional damage. 354? Yeah. Is... The f uh, filter, filter. You can create a chamber in your body where you can place items in and f uh, filter them out. It's a filter, filter, no me. God, these wow, suck. Okay. Even better. <laughs> yeah. All right. You gotta go. You gotta go again. <laughs> you just I keep have fucking. Six, you got God six. Damn, okay. You got three One left. more time. All right. I'm You're in the barrel. Sixty nine. Oh, there we go. Sixty nine. I'm in the barrel. Like da 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 da. Shit. Da 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 da. Shit. Da da da. Sixty nine. All right. I'll go with that. All right. Sixty nine is um. The Gocha Gocha no Mi, it is the uh, Charlotte Nushi's Devil Fruit, allows the users to fuse themselves with other people. Right, okay. Oh my I, god. Oh my god. Okay, that's, <laughs> I'll keep that. Yeah. <laughs> also, appropriate, it's number 69, because kind of, like, all yeah. right, whatever. Yeah, because anyway, you that's just. Okay. All right. Jack we'll see where that goes with the. Okay, we're doing initiative. What the fuck? <laughs> um, we're, we're doing Ragnar and Ragnar initiative. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. So just two initiatives at the moment. Um, but prior I'm, to the fun, I do, I do want to do this. As I get up and start walking towards them, and I'm gonna be like, I'm not the same Ragnar you knew. I am way stronger as well. But I see you keep on relying on your, on your cheap drugs, and I turn into a big bear. Oh boy, <laughs> you are. You may be older than me, but you're far more immature. And I see you. Yeah, you start transforming uh, into the bar. I mean, you're not exactly aging very well. You look older than your own dad. <laughs> uh, with these muscles it doesn't matter how old I look 
I will become one of the most powerful people in the world. There are few men more powerful than me, and you are not one of them. And what's the point of all that power? To buy more gold? To make your the people in your, in your town have nowhere to live? What's the point? What do you mean, what's the point in all this power? That's what you taught me! Power is the only thing that matters. Proving that you're more powerful than everyone on the planet is I... like what the only thing that matters in life. It is survival of the fittest, not survival of the one who has the most friends. You said you were a barbarian and you said you were a man, but you are a coward. I am ashamed to be your son. I don't even consider you my son, my son. It makes me sick every time I know that you use the name Ragnar, the same as your father and grandfather and great grandfather before you. The barbarians are family. These people are my family. And the whole point of becoming the strongest in the world is to make sure no one can do them harm. The whole point of learning to build houses is so that everyone can live and have somewhere and have shelter. No. Pathetic. You, you took everything I taught you and saw it in the most selfish way possible. Um, is it time to roll initiative? It's time to roll initiative. <laughs> Ragnar, All right, Ragnar, Ragnar good Ragnar luck goes to you, into, man. You just hear a bear roar, and oh, Ragnar goes into a rage. Ragnar, this get confusing. I'll call him Ragnar the Fourth. He, um, <laughs> his muscles flex and bulge. Um, and his giant fist becomes coated in this black. Coated with black. His skin looking like it almost turns into to iron. I mean, he's obviously using Haki. Uh, and he's going to oh, just boy. deliver a huge punch on you, Ragnar. That's if it hits. You know, every time this always happens. Critical fail. Come it's on. like it, like it never hits. It. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't know why I cursed it. No way. Oh, Every I don't know time. Why I cursed it. This is like this big <laughs> epic <laughs> final boss. I like like, crit it always. I feel like throughout all of my D and D campaigns ever, every time there's like this big enemy. And he has such an impressive introduction, and he comes in and he does his first attack. <laughs> it always misses or critically fails. He does have two attacks, so the second one will probably hit. But. Probably. And I mean, that's right. the likely. To. I just picture on his first attack as he's doing it, I like swat it away with a like a with a paw and be like, like this in my head. It's like you used the same attack last time we fought. Oh, that's Come good. Come on, old man. Yeah, Look, I call him old man. Yeah. Come on, son. Sure. I mean, actually, do you want to roll some damage for that? That's how we'll do the damage for it. Just how do just, I roll damage? Just, just like a bear just claw. Roll, it, just roll your yeah your bear claw and then do the damage for it. Doesn't look, yeah. And then just do the damage for it. So 15 damage. So, yeah, he comes in with his massive fist. Okay, he's going directly for your eye, and you bat it away. And he, and he ah, oh, nice. of course, oh, of nice. course. That was just a test. Now it's time for the real deal. 17. That does hit. That does right. hit. And here's the real deal: 67 damage. Holy, Holy shit! shit. It's the new world, baby. It's the new world, baby. Brand new world, brand new attitude. He Here we go. He punches right. you in the side. As he punches me in the side, my side turns black. I use um, what's called hockey to block it. Armament a bit. hockey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Armament yeah. hockey. That will um, in oh gosh, two d eight. Yeah, it's, the, it's that's not lots of damage reduction, but it's not. You guys are still kind of not like fully proficient with hockey. That's why it will I get. Mean, oh. Yeah. You should still be okay, because that'll take out your temp, but then you'll also plus five, so that'll just diminish it. 62 yeah. instead. Um, as you guys probably, the next level, you guys will probably get way better hockey as cool. a little thing, because you guys have been using it for a little while now. I want to get a new Rokushiki. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Ragnar slams Ragnar in the side. Um, you you create this armament hockey on your body, but the hockey around his fist just breaks through it. it, it slows the hit down slightly, but blood splurts out of your side, and he grins up at you. <laughs> oh. Why, who cares about what's the proper way to gain power when, when you can get this strong? 
I have powerful contacts. I don't need. And then I, uh-huh. yeah. I spit blood all over the floor. Oh, that was a good swing. I'm surprised you're still standing. But let's see if you could take this. It's your turn. And just. If only you learned how to use an axe. And I just close my eyes and start swinging three times with my axe let's go, as please. if I'm trying to take down a tree. Let's go. Please, let's go. one of these crit. Please, one of these crit. 22. 16. 19. I don't know why you're rolling with advantage. 16 oh, and 12. Bad. Okay. It's fine. Two of them hit. Two of them hit. Okay. Okay. So that is a total. Oh, gosh. His AC's not that high then. That's not bad. That's the yeah, he's, not wear- he's wearing a business suit. He's just <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're barbarians. We're barbarians. Yeah. yeah, they're barbarians. His AC is not that high. He has a business suit on him. Come on. Yeah, 44 damage. That's pretty good. So, okay. yeah, you cut. How are you slicing him? Just on the side, like a tree? This just th- like he punched me in the side. I literally three times in the same spot. <laughs> All right, you just try and cut him down like a tree <laughs> in the same spot in the side, and he. I mean, this is doing significant damage to him. Um, blood dripping down his side, but he doesn't look phased at all. He's just grinning like a shit-eating grin as you're cutting into him. Uh, his blood is like, yeah, dripping down the side of his body. Um, and I guess that's your turn. Right. Hmm. Um... Is the crew going to do anything at this point, or I, are we going to go for another another round of Ragnar Ragnar? Okay, so... I'm just looking towards the captain as I drink my air like... Mm, I'm yeah. in a barrel, and all you can see is my eye. I didn't plan on oh, yeah, what we're... Right. You probably signal. so hard, I wouldn't know we, where you yeah, are. So you wouldn't like, even mm. notice me, yeah. We should yeah. have had Ragnar give us, like, a, a keyword or something. Man, we planned everything except that. The, the actual, <laughs> like, word. how you would do the I assault. mean, I, I'm sure Ragnar would let you guys know. Okay. So, so um... We're I'm waiting nervous, on a Ragnar but I'm like, signal. I'm not, yeah, because I'm like, I trust Ragnar. Right. He's a tough guy, and he did hit him, so I'm like, all well, right, this we'll is see. this is a problem. Well, if he hits two of these attacks, I go unconscious. Well, he's going to grab you. He's going to grapple you. Oh, so this no. is going to be a strength contest. I'm going to say if 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 the grapple succeeds and Ragnar gets like knocked on the ground, I'll probably do something at that point. Yeah. All right. So, are you ready to do a strength contest? Flashback to a conversation we never had. Yes. Yeah. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, guys, I do want to fight him one on one. But him dying and leaving this, this, and him not being able to leave this place alive is still a top priority. He literally has a human trafficking, eating people business. <laughs> we Fast do. Forward, we, back we, again. we do a one piece. Like, oh, okay, this already happened, but we're just we gonna already back yeah, really yeah, quick yeah, and then yeah, shuffle. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That's, that's, uh, that's yes, awesome. That happened. <laughs> uh, he, all right. So he's gonna. Can you do a uh, strength saving throw for me, Ragnar? You have to beat. A 26. You got a 23. Yeah, 23. Oh. oh. So that's a that is crazy. That is crazy close. Um, Wait, you're raging. You have an advantage. You have advantage. Yes. Roll another one. Come on. You. No. Oh. oh. Okay. Shit. Well. You definitely could have beat uh, a 20. You only needed to roll like a 17 or higher with modifier. But yes, you guys have very similar strength modifiers actually. Uh, so he went goes in and grabs you, right? He like grabs you by the neck. And now I need you to do another strength saving throw because he's now going to crush your neck. Does he have advantage on this one too? Yeah, you have advantage yeah, on all the strength saving throws. What can he get? So you need to do a strength saving throw. If you succeed, you take half that damage. If you strength saving through. Strength saving through. <laughs> oh, I um, the strength. oh I no! I take the wrong thing. But it's okay. We, we take the roll. We'll just add your number. Your saving throw is plus ten. So uh, yes. you you had seventeen. So that would actually be plus five on top of that. Um, 20, 22? 22. Twenty two. You succeed. So you only take half okay. damage. So oh. your your neck muscles remain strong as he's trying to grip and and <laughs> and choke you out, and you only take thirty four damage. I still don't okay. know how to do the minus in my thing. It just doesn't work sometimes. Oh, so for you, there you go. Thank you. Oh boy, he's down by over half. Five. So yeah, All right, is it my turn? Now it's your turn. You are you are grappled. Turn. So attack unless you escape the grapple. Attacks you have against them will have disadvantage. Okay. Um, what do I do have to do to try to escape escape the grapple? Just another strength saving throw. Okay, I'm gonna try. Or oh, just another strength. Yeah, yeah. Nope. You don't succeed. All right, boys. 
When someone doesn't work hard for their muscles, you gotta keep on aiming for the core. It's their weak spot. Yes. <laughs> and then I just swing three times towards the same spot, but yep. disadvantage? Yep, disadvantage. Alright, 15, uh... 14. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's doing disadvantage. 15, 14. And the last one? Critical oh, failure. No. no. Um, the 15 does hit. Okay. So you get one shot in. So do that one shot first. So okay. you swing your axe round whilst being choked out, and you do manage to get uh, cut into him. And he, as he squeezes tighter and tighter, the the second axe comes through. You you can't quite reach him, and you you feel it, like he's choking you out. So you you physically getting weaker. And the third axe swing comes round, and he just takes his other hand and stops it with his fingers. Oh shit! And um. Let's do one more strength contest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's pretty much the Ragnar Ragnar yeah, fight. Yeah, just yeah. strength contest yeah, yeah. out you, the you ass. You don't want me to step in. <laughs> he only got 19 on this one. You succeed. So he, oh. he tries to okay. pull the axe out of your hand, uh, but you you manage to hold on to it. Um, and, but in now, this moment, Kai, can yeah. I look over at Louis and be like, Louis, can you give a brother some help? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> and Louis like, Clock I, I winks. I should have asked that earlier, but Louis Le Clock winks and um, he goes. Uh, uh, he bows and he twists his hand. And Ragnar, um, you essentially it sort of moves both of you back slightly. So Ragnar, you do get that thirty-something health back, um, and you are no longer right? thirty-four health. Yeah, and you are no longer being choked by Ragnar the Fourth. Okay. Um, I'm back at 89. Ragnar goes, what the fuck? All How right. did you do that? <laughs> Time to get going. And then Paige goes, point, like Paige frantically points over to Louis LeClock and goes, you. Can I shoot Paige's hand? All right. No, <laughs> oh, all right. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, sure I mean, can. I, I randomly say a word as if I, I told them this before. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> okay. Like that's a code. Uh, I don't know and, what that means, but okay. At, at this point, I need everyone to roll initiative. Yeah, alright, here <laughs> we go. Let's just roll initiative, yeah. Ragnar, you did a good job, man. Thank you. Um, I need to get some water, though, because my throat's fucked. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. Alright, I will put all of the NPCs that are friendly to you on the same turn, if that's okay. Because there's that's a fine. lot of them. And uh, I'll make that, uh... Yeah, uh, pretty cold. much have to. Hey, not, not the worst. Too much of a, yeah, cluster. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll put all of his henchmen on a, on a uh, singular turn as well. That's Thank good. you. I'm very salty with Paige after she took our ship like that. So this is the last straw. <laughs> yeah. No, that, she's that, yeah. that hand's coming off. If that I hand's coming it. off. She's got to pay her price for you know doing <laughs> what she did. Damn, those are some business dudes. Crit oh my Critical god, so initiative business. for the business dudes. Of course. All right. The business all dudes. Business. They're all business. The business dudes like strut their stuff and and they go <laughs> It's this time. <laughs> it's business time. <laughs> Ragnar the Fourth is like, it's business time, traps. Let me introduce you lot to the board. We have on the the small man, his name is Ledger. Ledger like goes, <laughs> he starts flexing his muscles. <laughs> which he doesn't have many of. The big fellow is Wonga. All right, lads, Wonga. says Wonga. Wonga, <laughs> all right. Uh, the Your man with the- named you better? <laughs> <laughs> the, man with the, the man with the hat is Richie. Richie goes, hey, baby, what's happening, yo? <laughs> Jimmy, um, you got that guy. <laughs> and you lot already know about Paige. And Paige just gives a sly wink. Um, and they all grab a syringe. And inject Oh themselves. no! And they—they they don't get even Paige. They don't get Ooh. quite as ripped as Ragnar does. She uh, becomes a muscle. But they start food. to become okay. slightly more muscular. I mean, Wonga looks roided out. <laughs> um. So, it just has everyone got their initiative in. Duros, Pearl, Verona, <laughs> William, Ragnar, Ragnars. Um. All right. So. Yeah, we, I mean, everybody else is on, like, like, Lissa's not going to fight. She's just in the kitchen. You know, Gravy's not going to fight, obviously, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, sick, sick, sick. Where the fuck is Gunner? Oh, he's over uh, there. He's right, yeah. Yeah, he was he's doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> he was doing stand-up comedy, yeah. 
All right, so it's actually, because they had incredible initiative, the businessmen first. And they're all really close to Duros and Doxy, because uh, they're by the entrance. So Wonga's gonna go straight up to Duros. And it's, oh, it's just, like drinking my thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. It's by the way, Verona was supposed to be on the roof. Yeah, he I is on the roof. No, it's oh, just, okay. it, you can't visibly, you know, it's a 2D okay. thing. It's not a 3D space. Uh, it's just gonna. Yeah, you can't see it. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I pictured it like he's in an attic or something, like in between the roof and the ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, Wonga's coming at you. 11, that doesn't hit. Oh, perfect. I just imagine I'm just drinking and he just starts slamming into me. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I was, I'm know, just like, still watching just, Ragnar. <laughs> it, your, your shield effortlessly comes up and just blocks the attack. <laughs> um, and Ledge is going to come around and he's 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 grasping a pen and he's going to do the same thing um, and just try and like stab it into your side or something. Uh, I don't like this. 22, does that hit? No, because it, I got 23 You now. got 23 armor class. <laughs> so he Whoa! brings the pen round and you just, yeah! you're still the drinking. I imagine cool. you're like still drinking as you're effortlessly blocking these attacks coming at you. <laughs> this is Keep what- Keep going right now, you're doing great. <laughs> this is what Duros does well. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Finally, it works. Ragnar, don't underestimate my family. <laughs> We're all strong. Yes, I don't underestimate your family. Me. No. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> You're no longer family. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. All right. Richie pulls out a gun. Um, and he's going to fire the gun at Louis Leclerc. Because that's, right. that's the guy, right? That's the guy. So, um, Where is Louis here? Oh, over there. Above, he has to shoot me. through the big guy. Uh, well, yeah, that's got to give him some cover. Yeah. Yeah, plus two AC to Louis Leclerc then. Um, but I love think gun. Eve love gun. So yeah, he pulls out this like it's a it's a like a pink pistol, and it has like fun loops around it, and it's got like little angel wings on it. And he shoots it at Louis Ooh. Leclerc. Eighteen still hits even with the plus two AC to Louis Leclerc. Um, it does thirteen damage, but then Louis Leclerc has to do a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. Which, uh... <laughs> Which he's hey, not I very... I have a feeling I know what this is going <laughs> to be. Louis Simp, here we go. Which he's not... <laughs> he's Louis not very good at. He got an eight. Yeah, so that's about Louis right. Le Clock that's, goes... that's about right. Uh, you know what? I really love strong, muscular men. And he looks over at Ragnar the Fourth. What a beautiful man this is. Um, and then uh, Paige is going to... Uh, I guess... Punch Doxy. I'm <laughs> oh, just okay. Just We're run up and punch wall a child. Wall up a child. <laughs> oh, that's it's... gonna hit. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Just... Did that <laughs> kill her? This is like that. No, it does not kill her, but it does knock her unconscious. <laughs> Paige just turns around and just slaps Doxy so hard. So Doxy she just roid it out and then just BAM! Just clocks a child in yeah, the face. Doxy Jesus flies Christ. across the room and then Paige just like looks down at her arm and goes, hmm. Makes sense. Uh, so yeah, Doxy's unconscious. Alright. Um, uh, she got sent across the Gravy, please tend to her. <laughs> yeah, Gravy immediately runs over to her. Uh, Poe looks over to Ragnar. I'm sorry, it's all the NPC turns, just they all got good initiatives, so they're right next to each other. Um, Poe looks over to Ragnar and goes, What do you want me to do, Ragnar? You want me to fight your son? Or should I deal with these chumps? Bless you, Ragnar. Bless you, bless you, bless you Ragnar. Um, no, Pearl, go help, uh, go help Duros. Okay. Uh, or whoever is the closest enemy, I can't really. Well, Pearl's gonna, uh, I guess Paige. Yeah, Paige, yeah, Paige. Paige. Paige just okay. slapped out Doxy, so Pearl's gonna retaliate. Right. Yeah, Paige yeah, yeah. versus okay. uh, Pearl fight. Right. The battle uh, of the peas. Here we go. Sense. Pearl flies over um, and, and does a dragon spinner attack on Paige. Uh, 16 does hit, dealing. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage. Nice. Um, I don't know what it is. I'll just subtract the two. Um, that's 15 plus 8 as as Pearl spins round and flame bellows out from her claws. Uh, Louis Leclerc. I don't know what Louis Leclerc's going to do. 
Because he's... I don't know. Oh, boy. Louis Lecoq. He's just looking at muscles. Does he have, like, another saving throw? What, what does he do? Louis Lecoq, Probably every... he will have a saving throw at the end of his turn. So Louis Lecoq will yeah. run up to Gunner and stab Gunner. Okay. Because he can't do oh. any of his... Yeah, so that's all he can really do. So he's going to stab Gunner. Uh, uh, he hits Gunner. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Gunner goes... Bam! Dag nab it! <laughs> Um, as the uh, the little guns come out from the side of Louis Leclerc's sword and blast little holes through Gunner, and then he'll do another saving throw, and we'll see if he stays in. Nope. Oh. Um, Louis, <laughs> snap out of it! This is the second time this has happened. You no, know I'm gonna do a di separate initiative for Gunner and Chip, so they because oh, um, okay. they are they they're like not the crew NPCs, so it's not like. I'm not doing seven NPCs at once and you guys are waiting for it, so we'll do a separate one for them. Uh, wow. Oh, terrible. Thank you. Okay, so oh. six. <laughs> okay, so Verona, it's your turn now. All right, well, I got three shots going right for Paige's hands. Go ahead, fire off those three shots. You have advantage because you are hidden from her. All right, advantage, bing, bing, bong. Wow, oh. 16. Wow, nice, nice. 30, all of okay. them hit. Okay. Oh, and then nice. also, my uh, rifle of injustice that is hiding behind the wall is also going to shoot her hand. She's not going to have any hands. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this hand is getting obliterated. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> All right. Do it. All right. Does the six, I'm guessing the 16 doesn't hit, right? Uh, no, 16 they, hits. Yep, yep. 16 no, they hits. all hit. Oh, it does. Okay. Is this going to be enough to kill her? Holy crap. You're going to just blow off both of her hands. It's like her whole arms and so everything. Like, the little trap door it's looking pretty dead. I think that kills her. I just, think like, that kills unload, her. Like, da -da 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 -da. Based on the amount that yeah. girls did. No, no, that kills her. I mean, that kills Paige. I mean, you just lit her up so... How do you... I mean, I thought she was going to stick around for a little bit longer, but you... I mean, Holy credits shit. where credits do, you kill Paige. I, I, I have a line. As it goes silent, as Paige... Hands explode with all these shots. She falls to the ground, and you hear a whisper from the ceiling. That's what you get for turning, Paige. <laughs> uh, uh, Paige's smoking uh, uh, corpse falls down to the ground. You just pumped her full of so much lead. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that's it. She I guess has no she slapped a child, so. Just lit Weird. her up. Holy okay. shit. Well, all, all right. right then. But your position's now been revealed because you did make an attack. Yeah, um, that, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just chilling in the ceiling. Sweet. Right now. I guess it's now Ragnar the fourth turn. Ragnar the fourth is still gonna focus on beating up Ragnar. Um, are you ready, Ragnar? I am ready. Ragnar, I I help him. Yeah, and yeah, you're just not in range. Yeah. Um, Ragnar's gonna go. That hits. That hits. 67 damage again. Ooh. Like specifically that number. So he punches you in the side for 67 damage. But. Ooh, your health part disappeared. But. Yeah, I'll try to do it, but I still don't know how to do it. I'll do it for you, Ragnar. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, what if I. Uh, let me learn. Let me learn right here. Boom. Did it work? It worked. Yes. It worked. You're good. Okay. Right. So he, he punches you in the side. Maybe like in the fucking jaw. Uppercuts you with his bulging arm. And then as he goes into attack with the other arm, uh, you see his muscles start to like diminish slightly. And um, let's do this next attack. Oh my <laughs> God. I mean, good timing for a critical fail. <laughs> How are you gonna deflect this critical fail? As I'm falling, I just like throw my ax up in front of me and he punches right into it. Yeah. And you like, you know, like in cartoons where the um, shockwave goes up the arm as he punches mm -hmm. the uh, metal. That's what happens. And yeah. he, he's sort of racked with pain up it. Do you want to do, you do the damage for that as well? Um, oh. <laughs> I don't know why he critically failed twice. That's what Might happens when you do drugs, kids. You do drugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. kids, yeah. That's what happens when you do drugs, kids. Uh, yeah, and he takes 5 plus 13 damage. Bane um, had that problem a lot from uh, Batman. Yeah, I remember that. Um, and it, yeah, you see his arms muscles start to go down slightly and he goes One of you is lots bring me another syringe Ragnar your turn B this is not your power and then What's it called? Uh, 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 yeah, relying on that whatever that drug to give you power is not consistent and again the same the same spot in his hip just three attacks 
Consistency is everything. <laughs> Consistency. Uh, you hit all, all three hit. attacks. Nice. Boom. 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 <laughs> Not super strong attacks to be honest, but you did hit all yeah, of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, they just kind of. Oh, I wish I was better at like basic maths. Forty-three damage as you just keep cutting into his side. And his blood sort of gushing out the side. It, it, you you seem to be making more of an impact now as well. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then, like, as I do my final attack, I'm not stupid, though. I realize how strong these drugs make you. That's why I need to rely on my friends. Duros! Yes! Boys! I'm, like, holding off two other yeah. guys. Oh, you're holding off I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, boys, we're gonna, we're gonna need all of our strength to take down Ragnar for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. William. Okay. You're up. I hear Ragnar's call to action. There's a lot of bullshit going on in this room, but I'm just gonna, like, explode out of this barrel and just use shuffle, like, uh, Geppo and just, z no, not Geppo, uh, Soru, and just zip over and just try to, like, I'm aiming for the neck with my sword at Ragnar the Fourth. Oh, at Ragnar the Fourth? Just like, oh. just like R Roger Ragnar and just I really zip thought, over. I really thought you fast. were gonna jump out and just fuse with somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I not yet. I not have yet. a plan for that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, you have advantage because you're taken by stealth, and okay. uh, that, it also includes sneak attack. So do you? All right, here we go. Uh, eight of spades. Eight of spades. You hit. Okay. I didn't do advantage, but that's good enough. All right. Yeah. You could get a crit though. Yeah. Just yeah. roll it again, just in case you get a crit. Oh yeah, that is true. Okay. Hold on. Uh, page. Okay. There we go. Page died. Okay. Right, here fine. we go. Twenty one. No, yeah, we didn't. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Twenty six plus seven. All right. Um, which is 30 something. <laughs> All right. 30. <laughs> 33. Uh, 33. Okay. So 33. You, okay. You, you, how, I try, how you, I'm aiming for the neck, but, you yeah, know, I, I guess mean, he's got yeah. thick neck muscles. You, he's a you, thick, it's like, holy a, shit, how yeah. thick is your neck? But you do you know? successfully slice into the side of his yeah. neck. Um, but yeah. you, as you slice into his neck, you can actually feel his neck getting, like, thinner as, as your, mm. your sword is in it. Um,. You doing anything else, okay. William? Uh, just like cunning action or whatever I need to do to like avoid being in direct contact with him. I'm just gonna be like over here. I'm gonna step on one of the bars really elegantly and oh, fuck, I hit you my like, knee. You like flip <laughs> over and <st> <laughs> yeah, <you're doing> <laughs> you <laughs> smacked my knee on my desk. Yeah, Ow. You All flip right. over and just land very elegantly. On yep. the, on it's like, the hi, place. I'm William. I'm a fruit ninja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. All right, Duros. You're fending off Wonga and Ledger at the moment. A pen and yes, a... Yes, this seems to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right then. If there's any time to take action, it is now. And I'm going to action search. Oh. <laughs> All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is Wumba. I'm so sorry for you. Was it Wonga? Wonga. What? That That's means a really dosh. unfortunate name. It's really, your parents could have named you better than that. No, I'm named Wonga because I make lots of Wonga, bruv. What's Wonga? Money. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to beat up this pencil neck guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And I'm going to start off with a uh, action search. No, that's not a bonus attack. Uh, that's not a bonus action. So I'm going to try and just... I'm gonna hit him with a trip attack first here, I guess. Yeah, trip attack. I can actually ledger. hit him though. Yeah, sweet. You hit him. Okay, it looks like I do. Uh, let's see here. So I'll go for a sweep, and then he has to make a strength save. All right. Uh, ledger. He's gonna make a strength save. I think I use a maneuver for this. So yeah, he fails. Yes. And right. then, uh, so he, you, I roll damage, so 8 plus 8, eight. 16. 16 damage. <laughs> and now all uh, of the attacks afterwards have advantage because he's now prone on the ground. Yeah, nice. so I'm just going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you cut into him, you see that his skin come away like graphite. He goes, ha ha, I'm a pencil pencil man. It does nothing for me and actually makes me slightly weaker. Uh, <laughs> That's really unfortunate, Fred. That's but I... <laughs> But I, I mean, I never not need a pencil. Well, allow me to sharpen you then a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That was good. I like that. And you critically hit. You deserve that. Yeah. Uh, and you nice. 
Let me just do that. Is, is, is he still alive? After yeah, he's, he's still alive, but he is losing health at a, a rapidly alarming rate. And you still, what, how many more attacks do you have? I still have three. Uh, yes. So I guess go. I'll just go for Crit it. Crit again. Oh my. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god, Duro. Oh, yeah, that, one man army. Right, that one kills yeah. him. <laughs> oh, that one kills him. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll just sharpen him up until he's nothing but a pencil. pencil. <laughs> you <laughs> you're like sh <laughs> you sharpen him? Just hacking away. Him the pencil yeah. away. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Looks like Duros brought his eraser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ragnar's you, close to death, but he remembers the pun at the last You event. rubbed him out. Okay. Well then. Sorry, Wonga, it looks like your friend's dead, but I'm going to attack you two times now. Mm -hmm. so, so. Well, you don't have advantage for oh, no, these it's two. Not, it's not advantage. But yeah, 21 but is fine. It still hits. He, wa he, wa he wasn't my friend. I'll be honest. Well, that's a very rude thing to say. I'm glad he's dead. Wow. He, we that's... were both vying for a promotion, and that means I get it. <laughs> Unless I die here, of course, which I won't, because I'm Wonga. All right then, Wonga. He says that as you're slicing into him. <laughs> as I'm slicing into him. <laughs> he doesn't even notice he continues speaking. All right, dude, that's, that's my turn because I can't really do anything else. You know? All right, I do want to say that I rolled initiative for Gunner and Chip so that they wouldn't be at the same time as all the other NPCs. But because they had the lowest initiative roll, all three stacks of NPCs are, ex are just in a row again. <laughs> okay. What so, did, uh, did, did Cyril do anything? Or no, he's part just, of that group he's too? scared. He's part oh, of okay. the group, just... but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Gunner pulls out a gun and goes, William, well, who do you want me to shoot? I mean, uh, Ragnar, just shoot Ragnar. Everybody with a gun, shoot Ragnar. The fourth, the, the fourth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not me, not me. <laughs> okay, we gotta so... clarify that from now on. Also, guys, he's a barbarian, so the shot should hit. They're not, there's not that hard By to make way, contact. Before I do finish my turn, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm actually going to walk away from this man and go mount on top of Ragnar. Sweet. <laughs> oh, there we You're go. You're not disengaging, though, so he will get an opportunity no, attack. No, he can get an opportunity attack me, yes. All right. So All right. you just oh, boy. casually walk away. He's going to try I'm, and... I'm going to, yes, just go away and say, well, then. 18 doesn't hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just <laughs> walk away. He goes, hey, you get back here, tries to punch you, but just like punches, you don't even notice. It's like the guy punching SpongeBob, the bully guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Big fist planted in the back of your armor and it just doesn't even register. Uh, and then you, I guess yeah. you mount Ragnar. I mount Ragnar. What's up? Don't worry, What's friend. up, Duros? I won't let him hurt you any longer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this guy's roided on drugs. Yeah, so I can see that. What a terrible thing. So, oh my god, it didn't even fucking hit. Okay, so, yeah, fuck it, he didn't even hit. Gunner pulls out his gun. He gets two shots anyway, but, so, the first shot fires off, nothing happens. The second shot, he fires. That and as, as the bullet flies out of his gun, he then puts his hand out, and he pushes the metal in the bullet and makes the bullet fly faster and penetrate Ragnar's shoulder. Physics. Nice. Uh, Damn. 17 plus 9. He does a decent amount of damage. Uh, and Chip... Actually, I'll take that damage instead. What? No, he's... The fourth? He's, he's, he's shooting at... Oh, he's oh, shooting oh, Ragnar the fourth! You said, I heard Ragnar, <laughs> yeah, so I thought... I was like, you were attacking Ragnar. <laughs> I thought... I, yeah, I know, that, that's totally understandable, but it's so funny, this is like... I, I thought this was like the start of Duro's villain arc. Like, <laughs> actually, I'll honestly, take that no. damage instead, and then you... We should just call him the fourth from now on. We shouldn't yes, even... It's yeah, really it's, confusing, sorry. It's really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brain is also a little bit fried, you have to understand. That is fair, that's it fair. Is, yeah. yeah, that's so fun. It reminds me of when Puppet Pearl was like, oh, I'm not here for you guys or whatever. It's like the same sort of like villain twist where <laughs> Duras is like, I'll protect Ragnar the fourth instead. <laughs> I actually love <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys fought an evil version of me. Secretly, so am I. <laughs> Call him Badnar. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. okay. Um, Chip jumps out of the cabinet. There, attack monkey, go. Um, he, I'll bet monkey. <laughs> yeah, he jumps out and he's gonna just start. Oh my god, Chip's an actual character that can do things as well. Yeah, you know he he's, he's messed like, up. He's like as good Pizarro as you guys I, are. Yeah, no, yeah, he he totally you know pwned Vavala Pizarro in the movie. So like. <laughs> 
Alright, so yeah, he's just gonna monkey foo. How many times does he can he does that three times, doesn't he not? Bow, bow, bow. Of Ooh. course he Oh, oh, what? And he he doesn't Ooh. hit any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, this is an example of when the guy joins Damn. the party, he gets nerfed <laughs> big time, you know? But he was the same, the same character that was one attack, like beating the shit out of the final boss in the movie, and now he's like, sorry guys, I missed. So <laughs> he was part of a party beforehand, so it isn't even, it's just like the guy for the movie. He was a warlord because... at one point. I mean, holy shit. This is like if Gene Bay was like, I got the oh shit. <laughs> like, okay, well. <laughs> Dude literally rolled a one, a three, and a four, right? He's got a plus ten to hit. This is like the all right, and one of them critically oh, wait, fails. Wait, wait, does he get advantage because he was hiding like me? He busted out of the barrel. He screamed. Or the closet. Yeah, he's okay. He screamed like a giant monkey. He did scream. <laughs> he, he did, did do he that. He was not yeah. doing this in a sneaky way. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't oh. not take him by surprise. All right, all right. Um, and yeah, he falls over. He like he screams, "Wow!" and just lands on his face and takes damage. Wipe out! <laughs> da, da, right. da, 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 da. Oh boy! <laughs> Wonga's like, "Get back here!" And I guess Wonga's gonna continue to try and uh, Wonga you, if you know what I'm saying. Wonga. Wonga, what are you doing? I'm I'm making money. I'm on that grind mine. I'm on that grind <laughs> set mindset. I, oh, he actually hits. Oh, he actually hits. Oh, you take 36 damage, bitch. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what he All says. Right, but I, I, I'm gonna use Sentinel to get an opportunity attack here. Oh my god, and you do. Yes. So, firstly, Wonga wallops Duros. Uh, and he goes, Wonga! How uh, dare you do that to oh. Duros? <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> well, he is, oh, you worry. are injured, so that does, yeah. That, that tracks, that tracks. How dare. Damn, that is unfortunate. How dare you do that to Duros? Stab us, Duros. Wait, what? <laughs> he just let me do it instead. Like, what? Oh. Me instead. Uh, really? No, no, I don't think he really? hits you instead. I think. I... <laughs> okay. Holy shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna roll to see what happens. I have, I have three different Kicks things. Kicks up dust and chips or my faces or something. All right. So what happens is Wonga punches Duros. He, Ragnar says, "How dare you do that to Duros?" He then swings his axe down, but he, because it's so out of reach, the the axe sort of slips out and sort of lands on the ground. Oh, so you're just gonna have to good. pick it up next turn, Ragnar. But nobody takes okay. any damage. But Damn. <laughs> it's just. Wonga looks down and goes, How are you related to my boss? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Richie's gonna shoot Cyril with a gun. Why? He's just he shooting all the weak, weak looking ones, because that's what Richie oh, does, because he's an he's arsehole. A dick. <laughs> he's, <All right. laughs> he's such an arsehole. Um, and he hits. Cyril only takes five damage. Uh, and that barely dents his temporary hit points, but he has to do a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He should be wise, right? He's, He's a okay. wise guy. He's a wise guy. Uh, he just fails. Oh. So Cyril's oh. like, oh, I'm so terrified. Now I gotta deal with this crap oh. in the background. <laughs> Louis right. LeClock and Cyril. <laughs> Cyril and Louis LeClock run up to Gunner and just stop beating the shit out of Gunner. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll just do that quickly for you guys. Um, it's on his turn, too. Yeah, just because it goes straight to them. Uh, they're going to... 13 even hit? Uh, 13 doesn't hit, but 18 and Napoleon does. That's 19 damage. And then they both do another wisdom save. Uh, Louis fails again. Uh, of course. Of course, Louis. Of course, Louis. And then Cyril. I'm so sorry. Listen, there's not usually this many NPC characters. It's only happening this one time. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. So oh they both God. fail. Okay. I mean, oh, it is no. a bar fight. It is, yeah, is a bar it's a bar fight. fight. Poe's going to fly over to Richie and just start I was just, fucking... just going to say, just fight yeah, that guy. Yeah. Destroy that guy. Pearl, can you take care of the guy that keeps, like, love gunning all of our friends? Yeah, he, she just stabs him with a claw, a flaming claw. Um, and he goes, hey, baby, don't be doing that. You're too pretty to be fighting like that, girl. Um, all right, Verona, it's your turn. Let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slap a uh, special bullet into my gun. 
Okay. It's going to be the beguiling arrow. Ooh, oh, you have those too. That's right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna shoot a shot at uh, at Richie real fast. Uh, yeah, that hits Richie. All right. Okay. So you're using beguiling what? bullet. Yeah. He what saving throw does he have to do? Uh, also wisdom. Check. Probably, but I'm gonna. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's a chain. Yeah. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Wisdom, yeah. Yeah, wisdom. All right, this is what I'm going to say. If this fails... All right. So, he's charmed. But because of this, both Louis Leclerc and Cyril, who were charmed by Richie, are now also charmed by Verona. It's like a knock-on effect. Okay. So Nice. Just because they follow Richie's commands and Richie follows Verona, so it's sort of... So Richie goes. It's a conga line. It's like it's a, a conga line. scheme, huh? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> hey, vo... I feel. Lost truck. Bang. Right, Who so is he... that in the ceiling? Is that a god? Hey, who's that long-haired, sexy mama up there in that hole? Wooey, hot damn, I like that. Why don't you come? What? No, you don't even want to work for me. <laughs> I want to work for you, baby. I could do whatever you want me to do. What do you want me to do, honey bun? Kill yourself. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think he they just takes the love gun. I don't think you can make them hurt themselves. Yeah, I don't think you can do the that. The effect ends early if the chosen ally uh, deals uh, forces. Uh, what the fuck? Deals damage to it or forces it to make a saving throw. I don't know. I think I think when someone it, it doesn't. You're not mind controlling them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is you've hey, charmed you, him. Yeah. You said you would do anything for me. Uh, so. well, I mean. Su suicide if, saving throw. I, I, <laughs> if I were to die. Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'll do another saving throw right now. <laughs> oh my god. I, I was care. kidding. I don't care. I, I think it's funny. If I I'm gonna do a saving throw right now, and if he fails this one. Just right now, he will shoot himself in the head. What the fuck? He critically hey, succeeds. He succeeds. I ain't gonna kill myself. I wanna look at your face forever, my darling. You gonna do anything else, okay. Rona? You've still got two more shots. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave him as is. I'm not even gonna acknowledge him right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, the more because... you ignore me, baby, the more I want you. Playing hard to get. Mm. That's just how I like it. Pearl, you gotta hit this guy again. I am, I am planning on <laughs> and ripping his fucking throat out. <laughs> okay, well, because uh, Captain's orders to shoot Ragnar the Fourth, I'm gonna use my other three shots. Other two. To, uh, well, I also have my other. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. you're right. They, those two hits. That one hits. Okay. Why don't I don't know. Holy shit. Uh, 36 damage. 36. So, yeah, you're barreling into this guy. Um, and it's now his turn. Mm. And, um, he... William's doing a dance off to the side on, like, the, the thing, just like, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> Come and hit me if you can. All right. So, he is going, Ragnar the Fourth is going to run over to to his goons that are near the entrance, about 30 feet away. So he's going to run over okay. here. Oh, man, and trying to do we get an opportunity yes, attack? Yes, you do get an opportunity attack. Both Ragnar he and Duras. Need some juice. Ragnar, Duras, and I guess Chip as well get an opportunity yeah. attack. Because you see his muscles sort of like lessen up. Oh, right, well, yeah. if Ragnar hits this, then he can't move. True, Ragnar, you yeah. hit this, he can't move. All right, swing. You hit this. Oh. Bam, Sentinel. Him in the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah. So do that damage. It's also. Yeah, you hit him. No, no. Actually, I, I won't use my reaction. I won't right, do it because you want to be able to. Uh, and I, and Chip yeah. also hits him. Chip nice. punches him. So yeah, I might, I, he takes the the two sevens and the ten. And Ragnar looks up. Oh, fine. I don't need my full juice. I can still take you on with half juice. Uh, I let him go. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna attack you now, I guess. He's now gonna do his punches. Um, but yeah, yeah. half juice punches, not as good. Oh yeah, Ragnar, you can't use your axe. You dropped it. Oh, it's fine. I uh, mean, just I, I, I mean, he just my hits. Bear claw. Yeah, yeah. Swing, yeah, swing yeah. with your bear claw then. Yeah, swing with your bear claw. 
it still stops hand. him from moving. Um, yeah, still hit, still stops him from moving. Just does the a bit less damage. does a little bit less damage. Okay, he's gonna punch. Sixteen. Does that hit Ragnar? It does hit. Mm. No, does it because I oh. redirect it to me. Yeah. Oh, Duras, <laughs> you take thirty-eight damage, which no, is, I don't. is he has to. I, I, he doesn't hit me because it's my armor class is 23. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> the We're mounted warrior. Yeah. Ragnar go, goes to try and punch, and Duras, you just block it with your shield. All right. And that's your like reaction, perfect, I assume. The perfect fusion of a warrior. That gives me an idea. Well, that's the mounted yeah. combat wound. Yeah, sick. All right, 18 is coming at Ragnar again. Are you you don't have a reaction anymore, Duras? Uh, well, no, I only have one. All right, so what? only 29 damage going at you, Ragnar. It's not as powerful. You could you could feel this punch is only about half as powerful as it used to be. Uh, so Duras managed to block one of the. Oh, yeah, that's shots. right. It's not a reaction. It's actually a permanent effect, but it'd be kind of OP, so I think a reaction is fine. I mean, you can, you still have your reaction to use protection for that second shot if you want. To give true, him. true. Which actually could save him, so I just roll a 1d4. Uh, well, you give him a disadvantage first. Yeah. And then oh, roll a 1d4, true. so he'll come in again. 13, so yeah. Are you blocked? Not it. Yeah. So you just block both of the attacks. This fucking teamwork going crazy. You're really showing him the power of friendship is the better than the power of drugs. <laughs> yeah, genuinely, power like, drugs. just like through this, you are actually like having an anime moment. Right on the fourth, uh, drugs are slowly fading away. Uh, he tries to go and punch Ragnar and Duras just blocks the fucking punches left and right. Ragnar, you're still alive. Both of those attacks would have knocked you unconscious, but they don't hit because Dur Duras is a beast and you're still standing and alive and it is now your turn. Do I waste an attack trying to grab my axe? Or yeah, like... nah, you just... I, I would say you can't move if you do it. Just use your movement to pick it up. I know yeah, it's weird, well, uh, but... That's, Ragnar that's doesn't take a want. step back after anyway. So I pick up my axe and I say, See? See, son, this is what happens when you use your strength to protect others. You're, you surround yourself with other strong, strong friends that way. Yeah. Unlike Richie over there, fucking loser. <laughs> hey, baby. I don't know. And then I. Cards. I pretend like I'm swinging somewhere else, and then just again three in, in the, the same, same spot. spot. <laughs> hits. Good. Hits. Good. Good. All right. All right. Well, whatever. Ah, D, oh, wow. Good. I'll take it. That works a lot. Yeah. This guy has so much damn health. Of course, yeah. he's Ragnar the Fourth. Of course. 59 damage. That's that's a spicy potato. I mean, not, he's visibly looking uh, injured now. As okay. blood dripping down his side, you're cutting into him like he's a big tree. Um, William, what do you want to do? All right, I look over and all this talk about friendship and uh, mounted combat has got, given me an idea. I look up at the roof at Verona and I'm like, hey, Verona, you want to try something crazy? Oh, no. Yeah, what are we doing? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to Geppo up, like Skywalk up and just grab his hand, like, take my hand. And then I'm going to activate the fusion fruit and let's fuse together. <laughs> fuse into a William Verona hybrid. And I, I mean, like, if you have a better name, I, I saw it in the chat earlier, uh, Virilium, which Virilium. sounds like a, yes. like a, like a, like a metal in the periodic table or something, but I like Virilium. Yeah. I think that sounds cool. pretty cool. Yeah. A fucking, like, so, anime cutscene plays. Or, like, a transformation the, sequence. Yeah, the Gogeta theme from Fusion Reborn. da 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 <laughs> Okay, here what we it, go. What does uh, Virilium sound like? Yeah, oh, you guys are talking. So, you guys fuse. It's got, like, <laughs> and your clothes fuse. First of all, our hair is epic, because you have silver hair, right, Verona? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I have okay. long hair, and you have long hair, so it's, like, half silver, half brown. It's, like, like Super Saiyan 3 kind of hair. Like, yeah, it's like a epic. magical girl transformation. You girls are just spinning around. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's yeah. do the magical girl transformation. <laughs> <laughs> we could try to synchronize our voices. I don't know how that And you, Yeah, and you, you're wearing this, like, long jacket, but with this blue shirt flowing outwards. Um... 
I have a gun on my back. You've and got my well, sword. You're, you're yeah, holding yeah. A, a a rifle, and the rifle at the end of it has a long bayonet. saber, like a bayonet. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and like your po your your hair and your cloak and your clothes are just like flowing in the non-existent wind. Um, nice. Your eyes. Let's uh. Move. Okay, Verona, in the count of three, let's just say, try to sync it up together. Like, just let's just say, I am Virilium. Okay, so like, three, right. two, one, and then let's go. Okay. Three, two, one. I am Virilium. There you go. That's the closest <laughs> we can get. It. To be continued. Oh, I have been killed. Wow. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> What a cliffhanger. I love how fusion is a legitimate thing in One Piece, though. Like, it, yeah. there, I did a whole f a video about it. Like, it's a fruit that exists. Like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. It's only shown for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's epic. That's a cliffhangers go. That's the most, like, epic Hon thing. Honestly, I, you guys were very epic. Yeah. For lack of a all better right. words, Duros was very epic. Ragnar was very epic. Ronan and William were very epic. You guys are all very epic. That was a good episode. You know what, Rustage? Yeah. You were very epic.